keep that aside. So I had already opened this one last time. So if you don't have a hot air gun, then I had this I had this hair dryer at home, which I'm going to you know hit this um, glued area so that it comes out faster. So I had this tool at home, you know, I usually use this tool and mainly I need the, um, you know, this minor screwdriver. If I have to show you, I have to show you like this. And then the star, not the star plus screwdriver. So firstly what I'll do is I'll just make a small, you know, once this is heated, you can just use this to open a little, open little bit from here. After this, this one. And to just so there is no connection here, so don't worry about anything. this will come out so next what you have to do is we'll open this uh, covering so not you know tighten the screw it's very loose so it's easy to come out now so there are two screws which are hidden one is over here it will be hidden under uh, kind of this thing screw it be here so one more screw is uh, you know, hidden underneath this so we'll open that as well so there is one more screw here which I need to remove There should be some 14 screws. Just give this on top of this for now. on this next thing we have to do is um, to remove the battery connection or disconnect the battery connections Also remove the mic connections. Keep uh, in a note of all the wires where it's going. And there are two screws here which you need to remove. One is over here, and other is um, here. So and so kept it safely. Next, I guess we'll be able to remove the connection from here. The motherboard itself, we can remove it now. This 
Why connection the camera connections? Once that is done, you can safely remove all the connections and then the motherboard you can keep it separately and this outer no, cabinet as well. You can remove this camera as well. Next thing we have to do is uh, remove this ca uh, front camera for that first thing what you have to do is you have to remove the motor first so if you see this is how the motor works currently This is how motor is supposed to work. Let's see if we can fix. I'm not sure if this will get down or if this will resolve the issue. Let's see. There are three more screws which are supposed to be removed. I removed one. Removed two. And there is a special type of screw here. remove this as well so remove three screw as well kept it safely next thing is uh, we can separate this motor oh sorry I forgot to remove one more screw So there are four screws actually, I'm supposed to remove everything. Once that is done, then you can just you have to remove this one. But this first thing first, if you see here, uh, there are two screws hidden underneath this stick, uh, sticker, which are which you have to remove to take out the camera so screw one removed screw two also removed so now what you can do is you can just pull out this camera so it will come out and this is the camera which we have to replace the inside component we have to replace next what you can do is you can see this camera we'll have to remove this layer there is a small slot to remove this uh, maybe you can use the uh, you know dryer to um, dryer you can use this dryer to remove the glue or so you can just put some uh, you know hot air over here so that you know, it comes out faster. I've already tried this, so if you do this, it should uh, come out. So this is how it comes out, and 
then you have to try to pull this or there is one more layer which you have to you know open this kind of a lock which you have to remove and then slowly you can either remove from top or from beneath and just remove from top so the camera comes out so this is how the camera looks hopefully i'll just keep it aside now so this is how you have to put it